So that deals with just flat color that you can apply as a fill or a stroke. But how about if you want to add a gradient color instead? Now in order to do that, I'm going to select this object again so that you can see the result immediately. And I'm going to click on the Options button in the Swatches window and choose the third item down, New Gradient Swatch. Now when you get the New Gradient Swatch window open, it can't show you the sliders just now because we haven't chosen a color yet. And here's our default gradient ramp, it's called. And as soon as I click on that, that's the white stop. These are known as stops. And because white is sort of nothing, it's zero, 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 it doesn't show me anything on here, and I can set it to whatever color I want. Now if I click on this end, black does exist in my swatches window, and it takes me straight there, and it says stop color swatches. Now if I want to get my sliders back, all I have to do is click on that and choose CMYK. And there are my sliders again. Now I'm not going to see very much until I reduce the amount of black. So I'll take that back down and I'm going to turn this into another shade of purple and click OK. And there it is. Now that's a linear gradient swatch. I don't usually bother to name them. If I double click on that to open it back up, I could name it. But I usually go just purely by how it looks in the swatches window rather than by some name that I can come up with. I've also got a choice here of linear or radial. We'll have a look at both of those, but let's do linear first. So I'm going to cancel this because I've made no changes, and there is my linear gradient, the left hand stop on the left, the right hand stop on the right. And you may want to choose a different angle for the way that the gradient fills the object, in which case you need this tool. This is the Gradient Swatch tool. The shortcut for that is G. If you have an object selected and it's filled with a gradient and you have to make sure whether you're editing the fill or the stroke and right now the fill icon overlaps the stroke icon and it's showing me what the fill color is, I can click and drag and reassign the way this gradient fills this object. I don't even have to be on the object. I can be completely away from it and it recognizes what's happening. Now when I click and drag, the left hand stop color is going to be where I start, and the right hand stop color is going to be where I end. Anything before that left hand stop color appeared is the left hand stop color. Anything after I let go is the right hand stop color. So if I click and drag just a small amount, from here up is all the left hand stop color, from here down is all the right hand stop color and because those look and because those are just sort of flat colors it looks as if there's something wrong with a gradient so if you want your gradient to look really smooth don't stop on the object drag right the way through it and then you've got a nice smooth gradient tone right the way through an amazing feature of indesign is that you can actually assign a gradient to a stroke it's going to look rather more effective if I do that to an ellipse. So let's have a look at that now. 